the coolest Copilot 365 for Outlook feature is also the most simple. In an email conversation like this, you will see the summary by Copilot above. Click that and then you will get a summary by the entire email conversation. I use this a lot, especially if it's here, like a really long conversation. And it doesn't stop there because it's also working on your phone. If you use the Outlook app, you will be able to summarize your emails there as well. It's also convenient if you came in late, for example, on CC in an email thread. You can also chat with the email. So to do so, I will click the Ask Copilot here, or I can also find it by clicking the drop down in the upper right corner and hit chat, then the sidebar open. This looks a lot like we know it. I can summarize this email. Here we get a prompt written in and I can also chat with my email. So right now you will get the recap. I can also ask, I can say, what does the email say about webinars? Do like this and then we will get an answer. The email thread provided detailed plans for hosting a series of co-pilot and AI webinars directly on LinkedIn. Let's close this sidebar and let's also close the summary. Then you will see it disappears. But once you come back to the email, you will see it again. We can also use Copilot 365 to reply to emails. What I will do here is to hit reply on any email. And then I can either press Alt I on my keyboard or I can click this little Copilot icon. Then I can prompt a reply. I can also see here that I got a few suggested prompts, but I have to be honest, I always want to prompt it myself. Now I want to reply to Steen here. And the beauty of this is that it takes the entire context of the conversation into account. For example, write a long professional reply to Steen's latest email. Thank her for the updated assets. Give feedback on all three versions. Confirm multi language versions and add a few constructive suggestions, something like this. And then I can hit enter and I will have a reply drafted. I can further enhance it. I can go down here and then I can do a few things. I can choose to retry. If I click this, I'll just get another prediction based on the same prompt. Now you can also see that it says two out of two here. I can jump to the first version or the second one. I can also change it with my words. So if I say make it concise, hit enter, then you will see it will be written more concise. And now I have three versions. I can choose to work with either of them. So if I want to work with the latest one, I just keep it or discard or I can further enhance this email. So what I want to do here is to say add a final paragraph about the company tennis match or something like this. And then it will add a paragraph here. Uh, also looking forward to the company tennis mats. It will be a great chance to catch up outside work and have fun. Then you can discard or keep it. I will hit keep it. Now we have an email. Often I want to change a few things and then I will hit send much faster than writing these emails myself. I can also use Copilot 365 in Outlook to create new emails. Go up and say new. Then I can either hit the copilot icon here or let's try to hit Alt I on our keyboard 
that will open up the prompt inbox. Let's say invite every colleague to the summer party on August 29, 2026. Encourage everyone to suggest activities like this. Use a friendly and humoristic tone like this. I can either hit the arrow with the mouse or simply just press enter. Then I will get a suggestion. You can see that this is friendly and humoristic. If I like it, I can hit keep it or discard or I can further enhance it with a prompt or simply just say make it a little bit longer. Click that. Then I will get an email. If I'm happy with this, I can say keep it. I can also get coaching to emails that I've written myself. Right now it's Copilot that has written it, then I won't be able to get coaching. But what I will do is to copy this because I'm lazy. Say Control C, discard this. And let's hit new again up in the upper left corner. Simply just go down here and say Control V. Now we have written it ourselves. Go up in the upper right corner and then you will hit coaching. The intuition here is that Copilot requires you to have at least written 100 characters yourself. I have not done that here. Then we will get feedback on tone. This email is upbeat, inclusive and enthusiastic, which help create excitement about the event and encourage participation. You might consider adding a brief thank you at the end. So here you can see that I get different suggestions on what I should improve on the tone, the reader sentiment, the clarity. I can also go down here and I retry that will just give me new suggestions. It will be in the same ballpark. If I'm happy with this, I can choose to apply all these suggestions. When I do this, then you will see that everything is replied. I can choose to insert below or simply just replace it, then I'll get an entire new and improved email. I can also schedule meetings based on email conversations. Let me find an email. Up in the upper menu, you will see the schedule with Copilot. This one you will only find in the new Outlook. This means that there's two different versions of Outlook. If I go down to Windows Start and search for Outlook, you will see the Outlook Classic. It will not have this feature, it will not get it. That is the old Outlook version. So if you want to use this, you will need to use the new Outlook version. Then once you have selected an email, you can just say schedule with Copilot. Now the magic begins. Because here it will suggest a time slot where both participants are available. It will also add the email conversation as context here and attachment. It will create an agenda based on the email conversation and it will summarize the conversation so far and it will even suggest a title of this. If I'm happy with this, then I can say insert. Of course, I can change all of this. So for example, I can eat cake. If I'm happy with this, I can just hit send. Copilot lets you use custom instructions here in Outlook. In the upper right corner, click the Copilot dropdown, settings, draft instructions, and enable the custom instructions. Here you can specify how you want Copilot to reply to your emails. Let's say write concisely and without a word, use many emojis like this and then I hit save. Then I will close this. I can hit Y. I can choose to press Alt I on my keyboard. This will open up the Copilot box. And here I can just say answer Stina and I will get an answer with many emojis like here and very concisely. But I can improve this. Let me choose to discard. Also, close down this draft. 
because we will want to further enhance these custom instructions. I write multiple emails, both to colleagues like Steenie here, but also to external partners, and I have a different tone of voice. Click the drop down again, settings, draft instructions. I will use keywords. So I'll say if I write internal, write concisely and without filler words, use many emojis. If I write external, you can find choose other keywords. Just choose what makes most sense to you. Start and end with a professional reading like this. Write long emails, use a friendly but professional, professional tone. Don't use emojis as external partners might not like those. Then I can hit save. Now it gets even smarter because when I hit reply here, yeah, Alt I again, I can use the internal keyword. I can say answer. Steen, I can also choose to add further context, but let's just keep it here. You will still see that it uses emojis like this. Let's try to discard this. Hit Alt I again. Say external. Answer Steen. Now we'll see that it will not write with any emojis at all. That's how you use the custom instructions here in Outlook 365 with Copilot.